All right, Amethyst. You know what we're about to do. And you know better than anyone else on the team right now how significant this is. You may not have been around since the very beginning, but you have been around the longest, so you know what Producer Lance is like. You know how fickle he is, how unaccepting of even a single mistake, how he thinks that idols that try their hardest and maybe slip up once, maybe even a few times, are not worthy of recognition. But you know that you and I believe differently. You know that any idol who has been with us on this journey, or even tried to be with us on this journey, is worth recognizing for their, not just their talent or their skills or their singing voices or whatever technical aspects of their, of their idol persona, but what really matters as an idol. Their spirit, their joy that they bring to other people through their performances and their battles, their charisma, their fighting spirit. Everything that's intangible and wonderful about Poke Idols, we are about to show that off to producer Lance and show him exactly what we mean when we say that all of us are treasures and treasures is all of us. To be incredibly cliched. Um, so what do you say, Amethyst? Did I- wait. Um, just a sec. You say yes. Let's move forward. Thanks. Thanks for that moment, Amethyst. Kazam, let us go. To the room of destiny. Oh boy. I've been waiting for you. Synergy. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. I mean, it's not like you've had 20-plus failed idols in your career as a producer. How you've reached the top of the charts mo so many times, I'm not entirely sure, but it must mean that your skills were good enough to bring you here, doesn't it? It doesn't necessarily mean that you got lucky, that you lucked into some idols that happen to have some potential enough so to bring you here. Oh no. There's no need for words now. We need to have a battle of the idol bands to determine who is the stronger of the two of our groups. Who truly deserves to be top of the pops. As the most powerful idol producer and the Pokemon Idol League champion, I Producer Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Well, maybe I accept your challenge, Lance. Never think about that, man. Go down, man. All right, all right, Amethyst. You know how to handle this little waif of an idol in front of us right now. <laughs> you know that Gyarados just oh. You know that Gyarados is a little bit allergic to, uh, a little bit of static electricity, wouldn't you say? What? Four times effective and that didn't. Okay. Oh, please don't do too much. Oh, it's doing a lot. Oh, it's doing a lot. Oh, jeez. Uh... Hang on a second. He's probably gonna heal, so I'm gonna take that opportunity to heal as well. Um... I was really thinking that would knock out. I guess there's there is a little bit of bite behind that bark after all. Well, back to square one then. Let's try this again. Maybe we'll get the paralysis. Ooh, um, or should we go for the attract, maybe? Maybe we I don't know. Is it worth it? Could mean that we don't get hit. Or we could charm. Well, it's not really gonna make it worth it. Let's tr let's go for the attract and gamble a little bit on that. Payback. Interesting. Well, at least we didn't hit it, so payback's gonna do basically nothing. Or a lot! Wow! That did way more than I wanted it to. Maybe we should charm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna charm. I'm gonna go for it. I just hope that we don't get a crit. 
Crit's always gonna be a trouble, no matter whether we're at full health or not, with this thing, looks like. Immobilized by love, perfect. Um, so let's heal that off. And then we should be okay to go for those Thunderbolts again. I just, I wanna, I wanna make sure that we get through this with as much HP on Amethyst as possible, because I want her to be a, a good solid backup for what's coming. Okay, I think that we can deal with that. Thunderbolt! Oh, so close! Come on, be in love! Be in love! That's okay. The reduction of your attacks means that Amethyst's- Amethyst's idolish charms are still in effect. Even if you are trying to resist the affections of her love. See, so this is something I learned in my travels, Producer Lance, is that Idols, while they are, while they are inspirational and awesome, sex does sell. <laughs> so, there we go. Amethyst always knows how to project the proper image on stage. To take advantage of her pose. Alrighty. Charizard. Well, I can think of no better idol to face off against Charizard than our old pal Latifa. Let's go for it. Okay, so I think there's really no there's really no bones about it. We have to go for the strength. Hopefully we don't have a situation like the last one where you live by like one HP again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, get down, get down on the ground, man. And the guard chomp. Ooh, do we want to stand for the guard chomp actually? Um, four times effective ice would be good. Um, Earthquake would not be good, though, if it, um, if it Earthquakes us. Hmm. I guess we could switch to Umi. Umi has Ice Beam, too. That's probably safe. Although it has Dragon Moves, too. I don't know. Um. Latifa does have more HP behind her. Um. But Umi's stats are just always overall better. I think we're still better for Umi. Although, ah, I kind of want to save Umi for the Dragonites. Hmm. I think I'm gonna let Latifa handle it. I do want to save Umi for the Dragonites, if possible. So let's hope that this works on the Garchomp. Do we go for the Ice Shard or the Ice Beam? The Ice Shard did a lot last time, but it still didn't knock out. Um, so... I don't know if she'll outspeed the Garchomp, though. Probably not. So maybe we should go for that priority. And just hope it does a lot. Come on. You can do it! You can do it! Ah! So close again! Okay. You can withstand the earthquake. You have lots of HP. Please don't let me down. Oh wait, you're also part ground type. <laughs> I don't know why. I was thinking... I think I was thinking um, Aurora's rock and ice. Why did I think about that? I guess because ice shard and strength I was thinking. Okay. So even our earthquake is not that bad. Okay, you, no need to worry then. No need to worry about the Garchomp. Big scary land shark, whatever. I don't even know if Garchomp can... F no, it can't. Um, I don't have to worry about the land shark. <laughs> okay. Okay, here comes the Dragonite. Um, based on the Let's Plays, I would hope at least that it's going to be the special Dragonite, because that one seems easier to deal with. Um, oh, actually, now I'm thinking... I think Umi's still our best bet. Even if it goes for a Draco Meteor, I think she'd survive it. I don't have as much faith in Amethyst or Latifa to take that. Although, hmm, hang on a sec. Oh, special defense 94, yeah. Um, lots of HP or not, that's still gonna hurt. Um, plus, hmm... Well, she doesn't have to worry as much about Bl Blizzard and Fire Blast with Thick Fat. Um, what about... not you. Um... Who am I looking for? I'm looking for Amethyst. Where are you? No! I didn't- Ah! Why do I always do this? Ah! Why do I always do this? 
<laughs> I keep thinking I should- Ah, fine. Uh, oh jeez. I guess- should- should we just try to make it work, I guess? Hmm. Well, I guess we can just attract and hope that that demobilizes it. Uh, let's do it. Okay, good. That that worked perfectly. Um, I guess should we go? Oh, oh, you know what? I'm thinking of something. I kind of want, I kind of want to go for that old faithful. <laughs> it worked against the the one gym she went up against. Maybe we should, maybe we should go for it. Let's go for the X item strategy. This is a technique that we picked up in our travels that we can show off to Lance. Again, for all the- okay, hmm, I don't want to brag and count all my kittens before they get born. Um, okay. Okay, and good, with the Draco Meteor, the special attack is going to keep falling. That's what I was hoping would happen no matter who we had in, was the special attack would- like, the Draco Meteor would hit and they would survive, and special attack would go down and it would get less and less threatening. Okay, so we're going to heal that off. Um, what was I saying? Um... What was I saying? <laughs> Is that during our travels, we we learned the value of friendship and the power of love and whatever. All that good stuff. Uh, but we also learned the power uh, that sex sells, one. And two, performance enhancing drugs are awesome. <laughs> Those are our two other lessons from our long and hard journey. <laughs> so let's use another one, shall we? Ooh, I wonder if we can use this as an opportunity to set something up, actually. Oh, I kind of want to take a risk on this. I kind of do. Let's just hope for no crits on the Draco Meteor. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that did nothing. That's amazing. Okay, we've got some special defenses up. I, I want to set up some X defense as well. Because I kind of am thinking, I'm thinking I want Amethyst to take on the big attacking Dragonite as well. I think we can make it work. If we set up all the X defense... She should be able to take those moves. And then maybe we can put pump her with some X attack as well. We will show Lance the power of our idols, alright. We are going to We are going to let him get beaten by a kitty of size. And that is that is going to humble him for sure, I bet. That's assuming it works. That's assuming it works. Again, don't wanna count <laughs> don't wanna count my cats before they meow. Cats don't hatch. <laughs> I really should be watching out for crits on this Draco Meteor, just in case. But it seems to be still doing nothing. Um, I think we're still okay to do one more of these. That should be the last X Defend that we need to use. At least I think. No, we could use two more. We could use two more. Maybe just in case, let's use one more special defense, too. <laughs> Right, because I guess... Well, no, Aerodactyl would be a physical attacker as well. I'm just thinking, if we're keeping her out for the Dragonite, then I guess we're keeping her out for the Aerodactyl as well. Um, so we should use... We've used 4x four, four defense. We've used 3 special defense. Um, maybe we should use some speed as well, just to make sure we still have the speed advantage, even against a level 60 Dragonite. Okay. I'm still afraid that a crit is gonna do us in, even with the, all the lowered special attack. But it's, it doesn't seem to be happening. Gonna quickly heal off that damage. Okay. I don't care if this seems cheap, by the way. This is a thing in this run, and I'm gonna make it continue to be a thing. Oh, it's out of Draco Meteors, I guess. Hopefully we don't get frozen or anything. Um... Okay, so we got our defense. We got a little bit of speed. Let's go for double speed. I won't pump everything to the max. I promise I won't. But I, I will. Ooh, she does have. Or, or no, wait, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking Surf was gonna do something more for some reason, but <laughs> it's not a problem. Okay. Um, 
We got double speed. We should go for the X attacks then. I'm thinking four attack, four defend. Three special defend and two speed should be all right. Maybe one special attack as well for Thunderbolt. Because we could use Thunderbolt on the Aerodactyl. Maybe two special defense for that reason. Or uh, special attacks. <laughs> so just a sec. I'm going to speed through the rest of adding these items on. Speeding through something in the champion battle. Wow. That's something I never thought I'd do. Well, I guess if it was going to be a potion stall, I would have done it. But it's not that so far, it looks like. Sure, a dire hit as well, why not? And I think, is that everything we need to use? Just a sec. Um, yeah, we use four defense, four X attacks, two speeds, two specials, three special defense. I think we're good at that point, so let's heal up one last time. Uh, not in there. <laughs> I keep choosing the wrong categories. Heal up one more time, and then see if Amethyst can finish this off. We might not even need Umi for this battle at all. Umi did her part plenty in the earlier battles. I just- I really love the idea of our longest standing veteran member being the one to win this. I really want her to. Okay, body slam. How much is this gonna do? How much is it gonna do with 4x attack up? All that it needs to do! Perfect! <laughs> Sorry for clapping right in the microphone. And level 61, so that's another stat boost. Super Fang, I don't think we need that right now. We really don't. Yes, you should give up on Super Fang. You are fine the way you are, Amethyst. Oh, you're bringing out the ace already, Arya. A little scared, Arya? You don't think Aerodactyl can handle it? Well, let's see how your Dragonite likes a four times body slam from the number one Perugly in the world. I didn't think so. <laughs> wow! This is amazing! Amethyst, baby! You are a marvel to behold! Aerodactyl, last threat from Champion Lance. I promise I won't do this for the red fight. <laughs> we, we, we need to have at least one climactic fight that doesn't rely on this strategy. <laughs> at worst, maybe I'll use one or two items, but not the whole slew. But I do think this is still super satisfying. All right, come on, you can do it. And the crit to boot. <laughs> Thank you, Amethyst. Thank you, Producer Lance, for pushing me this way and for pushing me all this way. It is over now, but it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry. I'm happy I witnessed the rise of a new champion. Well, at least you found your sense of humility again. Whew. You have become a truly powerful producer, Synergy. Your Poke Idols have responded to your strong and upstanding nature, and your m impressive array of performance-enhancing drugs. As a producer, you will continue to grow strong with your Poke Idols. Oh! Hey! Oh no, it's all over! Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow! Ah, Synergy, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication and trust and love for your Poke Idols made this happen. Your Poke Idols were outstanding as well. Because they believed in you as a Poke Idol trainer, a idol producer, whatever term we're using in this run, they persevered. Congratulations, Synergy. Let's interview the brand new champion in Top of the Pops. Oh, this is an exclusive interview. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Synergy, if you would come with me. Oh wait, we haven't done the interview! This is like interviewing Beyonce. Can't pass this up. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the Idol League champions for all eternity. This is basically the Idol <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Their courageous Poke Idols are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new league champion. 
a producer who feels compassion for, trust towards all Poke Idols. A producer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new Idol League champion who has all the makings of greatness. Despite the fact that I will still be enforcing the one mistake equals kicked out of the kicked out of the team rule hereafter. Synergy, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. Ah, we did it! Somehow we did it! Amethyst! Absolutely deserving champion if I ever saw one. Oh my god. Umi, you didn't get to fight in the final fight, but you did plenty in the preceding fights, and I'm sure you will do plenty more when we fight Red. Latifa, you were absolutely what Sharp Notes needed after the wake of their tragedies. Thank you so much. Hedwig, you shined like never before. Your hyper beam will be the one that pierces the heavens. Noodle, the wall that really will not fall. Oh my god. Ah, oh, there's nothing more to say. I just love you so much. Owie, you may be technically off the team, but you definitely did your part in bringing us this far, and we will never forget what you did for us. Synergy and treasures, and gem burst here in the background as well, are the league champions. Congratulations. Now there's only one major challenge left. Oh man. Well, I guess there's the gym leaders too, but shh. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'd say that's an episode. Oh man. I guess I there's really not much else to say other than I you you guys are amazing and thank you so much for putting up with waiting for these episodes all the time. This has been probably the longest running series in terms of time spent on it that I've done in my Nuzlocks. And <laughs> I apologize for that. Uh, but I always feel like it's worth coming back to and worth bringing to you guys, and I hope that you guys always feel that it's worth watching. Um, why am I talking like this is the end of the series? I think it's because credits are rolling. <laughs> but there's still a little bit more to come. We will spend at least a few more episodes bulldozing our way through the Kanto Gym Leaders for fun. And then our last true challenge will be Trainer Red up on Mount Silver. Oh. And of course we will probably... I don't know how we're gonna handle catches. I think you'll see catches in the montages, um, and we'll only really stop for the ones that affect the team. Like, any any catches we get for the waiting list, um, we'll just speed through their catches and we'll do their auditions. Uh, maybe I'll do a separate auditions video for all the ones that we get during the montage that aren't like addressed in the videos themselves. Yeah, that sounds good. There will be a separate auditions video for those. Okay, just so it doesn't block down the episode itself. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys for those. I don't know, should we let the rest of these credits play out? They're still not done. <laughs> uh, I guess I will, I'll see you guys next time for the last few episodes of Poke Idol Festival, Sacred Gold Idolock, with us, the champions of the Idol League. Ooh, the credits are almost done. We're at the Elite Four now. At least I think they're almost done. Let's let these credits finish out, shall we? Oh, and we come home to our mom, who's been watching us the whole time. And we ran out of the way- <laughs> ran out from her again as soon as we got home. We're very- we're a very loving daughter. Yay. And the patrons for today's episode of Poke Idol Festival who donate at least $4 a month are Author X, I am a Barbo TK, Blockbuster Video, Cinder, Curtis H, Dork and Mindy, Elaine G, Ellie Stunnell, Fear Garden, George D, Kira Kabuki, Liz C, Logan Scales Aura, Maramp, Myron D, Now, Me. 
Prez Pasca, Sarah R, Vivian F, Anne Marie at Makitori.tumblr.com, Calder Calderson at Kelly's Quest.tumblr.com, Otaku no Podcast at Otaku no Podcast.com, and Rita at Rita Plays Games on Twitter. Thank you so much again to everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you again in the next one. Goodbye!